<laughs> Cheers. Hi, it's me again. And all day I've been locked up in an office and I've had no access to the outside world apart from the bit of work I've been doing. So imagine my surprise when I get in the car at five o'clock, fire it up, put LBC on and I'm hearing all about Gary Lineker being suspended from the BBC. Have a look at, look, this is what they told me. I was very excited to hear it as well. Gary Lineker is to step back from presenting Match of the Day until an agreement is reached on his social media use, the BBC has said. Oh, he'll never be coming back to Match of the Day then, will he? Because he's going to do and say what he wants. He's, he's made that quite clear. But what I don't understand, as I said in the video yesterday, he had that discussion with, um, was it Neil Henderson, who was a BBC journalist on Twitter, where the journalist was saying, how come you can say what you want and I can't? And Gary's like, well, I don't work in the news, man, do what I want. And the BBC made that journalist apologise to Lineker. So what's caused it this time? Because this time he's been suspended. Why has he never been suspended before? This isn't the first time he's done this. That's interesting to me. The BBC said it had been in extensive discussions with Gary and team in recent days and has decided that he will step back from presenting Match of the Day until we've got an agreed and clear position on his social media use. We have never said that Gary should be an opinion for his own or that he can't have a view on issues that matter to him. But we have said that he should keep well away from taking sides on party political issues or political controversies. So yeah, we're finally going to know if someone can present Match of the Day better and cheaper than Gary Lineker. This might not be a good thing for old Gary Lineker because someone's got to do it. The show's got to be presented, right? They'll bring someone in and if people like them, that could be the end for Gary. But I don't see it because he can do and say what he wants. He's proven that. They've not pulled him up on it before. So they've suspended him. And it's not his choice because as I got out of the car, they were talking about it, that someone, a source close to Lineker, has spoken to Sky News and said this, look. A source close to the presenter has told Sky News that the corporation has taken him off the air as he is unwilling to apologise for his comments this week on social media and admit he should not have done it. So it's not that they've come to an agreement that he won't present it until we do that. The BBC have told him, look, a source close to present the corporation have taken him off the air. They've taken him off. So, but, I mean, let's say he doesn't apologise. If he apologised, he could be back on the telly tomorrow, right? Let's say he doesn't. That's interesting. What happens then? That is going to be interesting, right? Go to a legal battle for unfair dismissal. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Because he'd probably win, to be fair, because there's a president that he's been able to say political things in the past and had no problem with it. The reason this has all come about, it's got to be public opinion, right? It can only be public opinion. This did not go away. This has been talked about for days now. It's not gone away. And the BBC have had to listen for once to public. It's a shame they can't listen to public opinion when it comes to the TV licence fee or the free TV licence for the over 75, isn't it? Listen to that public opinion as well while you're on it, BBC. But now they're all standing up as well. Look, you've got Ian Wright, look. Fellow pundit Ian Wright said he will not appear in solidarity, tweeting, Everybody knows what match of the day means to me, but I've told the BBC I won't be doing it tomorrow. Solidarity. Which is surprising, because normally when someone falters who's got the top job, they're queuing up beneath to take the top job, isn't they? So I would have thought that he'd have just put his hand up and say, yeah, I'll do it. No worries, no worries, because he might get a full-time gig if Lineker doesn't apologise and never comes back. But yeah, I, I, it's, this is going to be interesting to see. I think the BBC are going to see that someone can present that show just as well for a lot less money, and people might like him more. But then is there going to be legal battles about this? And loads of people are phoning into LBC, and I've been looking on Twitter, loads of people are tweeting saying they are cancelling their TV licences until Gary is reinstated. I never thought I'd hear that. I never thought I'd see that or hear that. So, um, yeah, more telly licenses cancelled anyway. But where does it go from here? I don't know. Stay tuned. But it's interesting, isn't it? And Gary's off the telly. Cheers.